So it's not AI coding is not, I don't think, something to be feared. I think that if you've got a broken script or something like that, if you've got Claude in the command line, you can, you know, if you've got problems and errors, it's brilliant. I mean, you can do this normally with ChatGPT. You could just like grab a screenshot and error on Linux, drag it into ChatGPT, and it'll tell you what the problem is. I suppose you've got Hyperland. So, I mean, that's going to give you those things. But doing it like this, you can actually grab that Hyperland config and put it in, copy it, put it into Claude or, or Codex or Gemini, not Gemini so much, I don't trust that one. And then basically, I'll tell it this is what's going on. Give it the image as well, explain the problem, and it'll tweak it for you. I mean, I'm not talking about like writing massive database systems for, you know, healthcare with this. This is basically just fixing the problems on your operating system. Imagine doing this with Windows. How many times have you had like a DLL error of some kind and it said something in the registry? Wouldn't it have been great to just to grab the registry, put it in, tell the AI this is going on, and then it tells you the answer. Or I want to do this. I did this the other day, and it's really weird. We have a, a job came in where job came in where we had to resize hundreds of images to a particular dimension. Um, they had to be become JPEGs, and we didn't have very long to do it. And you'd start, oh, I can do a batch script in. No. So I actually did it for Windows. I wrote a Python thing with AI that basically you just point at a folder, and this is like a back to the day when I was doing post-production, pointed out the folder, totally out there, and it just zipped through these files in, I think, about 15 minutes. 